What's going on guys? Will Freeman, RevolutionaryLifestyleDesign.com coming at you from Bangkok today on a little vacation here up on a rooftop patio of this nice little co-working space. Sorry, I don't have my tripod, so it's, uh, you know, the quality's not going to be the best, but I want to get this content out to you. Content is uh, getting from point A to point B. The key is, is certainty, okay? So you want to think of, you know, your goals, your objective, your mission on a straight line, okay? Where you are right now is point A, where you want to be is point B, okay? Just like in sales, it's a straight line close, the path is linear, okay? It's a, it's a map, you know, it's not the territory, but it's the best mental map that I've found for accomplishing anything that you want is looking at it as a straight line from point A to point B. It just simplifies everything, okay? So on the straight line, you're going to find a lot of obstacles, all right, that are going to get in your way. The first one is time. Okay, because distance can only be covered in time for any journey. The second is space. Okay, to get somewhere requires that you have to actually move through physical space to be able to get things done. You know, whether it's getting your business to a certain level or any type of goal, you're gonna have to move through physical space. The third is the skills that you don't have that you need to learn. Okay, the fourth is the actual work that you that you need to do. The fifth is getting rid of disagreeable people because disagreeable people are going to sabotage your mission. They're actually going to get in front of you on the straight line and block you from getting where you want to go by putting doubt uh, towards your mission. And the sixth and by far the biggest one is doubt itself. Okay, that's the most dangerous one because that, when you indulge doubt, when you listen to doubt, that will convince you to walk off the straight line. Okay, that, that is the only thing that, that can get you to stop. All right. Because you can't fail if you don't quit, right? You can't fail if you don't quit, all right? But when you when you have doubt, doubt, and you indulge doubt, that can make you quit, all right? When you think this isn't working anymore, right? That's why I talk about having a closed mind. You do the open mind for the research phase, but when you've actually decided on what you're trying to accomplish, you need a closed mind to close out all those other influences. Because you're gonna have doubt cropping up every day. It's not like the doubt's gonna go away, but you just can't indulge it. You have to turn it away the same way with all the other negative thoughts, all right? So that's really important to understand those six criteria. The other one is, is imagine you're at point B right now, okay? You wanna start from point B, all right? You're going from point A to point B, but think about that you're at point B right now, okay? You're already at your destination. So imagine this, you've put in the time, you've moved through physical space, you've developed the needed skills, you've done the hard work, you've done the heavy lifting, you've not allowed to doubt, doubt to take you off the straight line, all right? And that's exactly what you should do, okay? You should be able to see point B as clearly as possible. Just like, let's say you're going on a trip, all right? You're gonna use Google Street View to see exactly what the place you wanna go to looks like in reality. That's the same way you have to see point B, be at point B already, okay? If you wanna, let's say you have a vague vision of where you wanna live, right? Look at the condo that you wanna live in, look at the car you wanna drive, look at office, your ideal office space for where your business is gonna be. Um, you know, if, you, if you're looking at girls, what kind of girl do you want in your life? Uh, you know, what kind of physique do you want, right? Look at, like, go online, search those things out, you know, see them in your head put them up on your whiteboard okay you can watch my video on on how to build with a whiteboard actually take out those pictures put them up on your whiteboard so that you can see where you're going um, you can see your destination just like in a destination you're gonna look at the street views right like the, the better view you have of the destination the easier it is to be at that point B all right so that's super important and you need to be certain that point B exists, okay? Like if I told you to jump to the moon without a rocket ship, you know you can't do that. But whatever it is, the goal that you're doing, you need to be able to know that this exists and that I can do it and I'm certain of it. And you have to get yourself to that point of certainty, okay? That's the, that's the crucial point. You have to get to that certainty and it's just like a destination. You're certain that that destination exists, therefore you can get there. And you and you have will have the the mental, the maps and the GPS to be able to get there, all right? So you don't add doubt when you're driving, okay? You know that that exists, you're, you don't add doubt to it, you just keep driving along the path listening to the GPS, all right? 
So you have to be certain um, because it's only doubt that indulging doubt that pulls you off the straight line. When you're truly serious, when you're truly serious, death and incapacitation are, are going to be the only things that stop you, right? Elon Musk says he's taking us to ours or to Mars or he's going to die or be in physically incapacitated. He is going to die trying doing that, right? So he's certain of the destination. He's certain how he's going to get there. And the only thing that's going to stop him from driving there in his car is, is his death or physical incapacitation. That's it, man. When you have that mentality, you are a dangerous motherfucker. You are fucking dangerous, dude. And I feel sorry for your competitors when you're that serious, okay? That's what it's about, man. Okay, that's certainty, all right? And you get there with the right maps, right? In your destination, you got the Google Maps going on. In your mission, it's modeling the right people. I got a lot of stuff for you on, on how to model a service business, but I mean, model whoever you want, whoever, whoever, whoever got, whatever guy that, that has the kind of business that you want or the kind of physique that you want, model him, backwards engineer what he's doing and follow the plan that got him to where he is, okay? Backwards engineer model, but but don't leave yourself a way out. Doubt doubt is a way out. Doubt's a way out. Okay, you need certainty, and doubt 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 comes from fear. All right, fear of getting your hopes up and it not working out. Fear of putting in time and money into something that fails. Fear of humiliation um, from being seen as a failure uh, in the eyes of your friends and family. Fear is the cause of doubt, and doubt will destroy you if you don't push it off your path. If you don't push it off the straight line because it's in between you at point A and you at point B, okay? Now, uncertainty can be a good thing in, in, in many areas of life. For, for example, it served me well when I was a trader. I, I would put a trade on, I would take a bet, and I would say, okay, you know, I think the stock's going to do this in response to this event. And if it didn't, I would quickly recognize that I was wrong and pull out, right? I was never, you know, it was never on any type of total certainty. You know, for trades, okay, I, I don't recommend you being a trader. You can see my videos why. Um, but just as an example, you know, and, and sometimes for investments or whatever, things that are not, you know, where you don't have a lot of control over, where you have some control, but, but you know, you don't have total control over that. Uncertainty can be good because you can you can say, okay, I'm, I'm going to place this, this, you know, I'll take a bet on this area in my business or whatever and, and, and see if it works out. Right? If it doesn't meet my metrics, I pull out, right? So uncertainty can be really good uh, in that sense, all right? But uncertainty is not suited to a mission, okay? Your business, what you want in your life, what you're put on this purpose floor is your motherfucking mission, dude. And that's that's the big point, point A to point B journey, okay? It is your mission. Uncertainty is not suited to a mission. A soldier doesn't stop, okay? Soldiers doesn't stop fighting until he's victorious or he dies. That's, for that massive mission goal that you got in your life, that's the mentality you have to have. You have to have that soldier's mentality. Like, I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna fucking die trying and that's it, all right? That's all there is to it. Because if you're not certain, you can't get through this, that major long journey for the rest of your life that, that you wanna accomplish. You're, that doubt's gonna come up and it's gonna take you off the path every damn time, man, okay? That's not to say that doubt won't come up. It's gonna come up every day right but you just tune that out you just sweep that off the road right step out of the car take that out of your way right pick up that doubt take it off the side of the road keep driving on to point B all right and you know that's the reality you you also need the right people in your car okay because the wrong people are gonna give you bad directions if you got someone in the pat in the passenger seat who's trying to backseat drive and do who doesn't believe in the destination and who is not ready to do or die to get there, you gotta get that person out of the way, okay? Because a disagreeable person, a person who doesn't agree with your mission is gonna make an obstacle for themselves. They're gonna become an obstacle for you. They're gonna actually, it's like they're getting out of the car and sitting down in front of the car and getting in your way. That, that's, that's how bad a dream killer is, man, okay? The same way for me, anytime my friends have a dream, I support them 100%. I support everyone who has a, has a dream, has a mission. I might say, you know, you know, you could tweak a little bit of these areas to make it easier, but if, if some guy's behind something, dude, and he's he's down to do or die, so I, I would never get in that way, man. So you, and vice versa to you, and and you can't you can't indulge people who are gonna get in your way, man. Um, because 
the human brain's a sponge, dude. And then it's like you allow disagreeable people in your life, you allow negative people in your life, that's gonna influence you and it's just gonna create more doubt for you to have to sweep up. So those people make themselves an obstacle and you have to get rid of them. You have to be ruthless with it, man. Um, because those people are not acting in your best interests, okay? That's really important. Because agreement is reality. So people that disagree with you, they disagree with the reality tunnel that you're trying to create. Okay, that point B is 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 another reality. You're creating a reality, right? You know, creating a business and, and getting an office and all that stuff. You're creating reality in the physical world. And a disagreeable person, right, is literally conflicting with the reality that you're trying to create because reality is, is based out of agreement, right? I'm, I'm out here being the personal development guy and, and this business only exists if you agree with it, okay? I'm trying to get as much agreement from, you know, as many millions of people as I can. And the more agreement that I get, the more successful I am and the more I, I literally am creating this business in the physical space, in our physical reality, all right? So, you can't complete your mission when you let doubt stop you. You need to, you need to have, if you're really serious, it's do or die. Death or incapacitation, man. Like when you're, when you're really serious. When I'm, when I'm asking you, what are you put to do on this planet? And you can answer in a sentence and you're like, this is what I'm doing with my life. You have to have the certainty and you have to have like, this is do or die. Okay, when you have that, you can't be stopped because you're just gonna power through every obstacle. Or die trying, that's it, okay? You are, you are so fucking dangerous when you adopt that mentality, all right? So, and it just simplifies things because the thought of quitting or the thought of doing something else comes up and you're like, nope, because it's not an option. Quitting is just not an option. You just take quitting right off the table, okay? And then you don't have to think. You, you just have to do what you have to do for the day if you're following my wonderless system, which I outline on uh, my book, How to Get Organized, which you can find at revolutionarylifestyledesign.com slash forward slash products. Your whole day is on your wonder list. Everything in your life is just, all you have to do is wake up, look at your wonder list task app and do it. Doubt comes up, doesn't matter. Thought of not wanting to do it comes up, doesn't matter. Quitting doesn't matter because you're not an option. It's just not an option to quit. That's when you're serious, okay? That's when you know that you're on your mission, all right? And that's how you get the big, the big wins, dude. Every guy that's had major success, has that mentality, it's, it's impossible not to. It's impossible, because otherwise he would have quit, right? There's millions of other entrepreneurs out there that, that could have been there, they just quit. Or, or whatever the mission is, they just stop. They let doubt stop them, right? So, that's the reality, okay? Just simplifies things, you, and you can't fail when you don't quit, you can only die, okay? You can't fail when you don't stop. And usually the time where you're where you're most under pressure and you're thinking about like man the pressure's weighing down on me, that's the point where you're just you're you're just closing in on a big win, okay? Because that's the point where everyone else would quit. So you have to power through that if you want to be able to be the one that succeeds. And I'm telling you from personal experience, there were there were times in different businesses and in sales and all kinds of things where I was just like thinking about hanging up and just powered through, and it was that that it was always right before a big win. Right, you know, it's like the the darkness before the dawn, man. If you're really struggling right now, if you're really thinking about giving up, keep going, man. Keep going, dude. The bit that that next thing is is probably just gonna be around the corner, man. If you if you got the right mission there. So when you take that perspective, it makes things so much easier, right? It's it's certainty, and then it's it's I'm doing it or I'm die trying, okay, and. That way you don't let ifs into your mission, only whens. You start at point B, or you start at point B already, like you're creating point B, I'm already there. Because the present moment is all that exists. Time is actually an illusion, okay? You can never feel time passing, you can only feel the present moment. So start, start at point B, get the vision board, get the pictures up, get exactly where you wanna go, where you wanna live, what business, what office, what car, uh, what physique you want, what clothes you're gonna wear. Have that and be there already. Be there already, okay? Be there already and then it's just it's just taking things out of the way until point B is in current time. Okay, we're in current, we're in the present moment now because we can only be in the present moment. But when you do all that, point B will become the present moment, okay? Sweep away the things to what you are, what you're already being is in current time, okay? Right now in current time, you're, you could be reading this article on my website or you're listening to the, you're watching this video on YouTube or you're listening on SoundCloud. That's what's happening right now in current time. 
but right now will also be point B. It's the same moment, right? So start there. Start as if you're already in that moment. Because you will only get to that moment in present time. So start there, work backwards. Start as, as big a visualization as you can get. And you have the internet, so you can see everywhere where you want to live and, and um, the office space and, and whatever it is that you're trying to do. The physique that you want, um, you know, whatever girls your type, you can see that. So start there, all right? Certainty, like in the same way, let's say you're sitting in a restaurant. I'm sitting in this chair right now here, okay? Sitting in this chair on a, on a rooftop patio. I'm certain I can walk out that door over there, right? All it does is, is it takes time. It takes moving obstacles like this chair and this table out of the way or, or circumnavigating those obstacles. And then I'm, I'm, out, I'm, I'm back through the door and I'm inside and now I'm in present time, but it's the same, it's the same moment. And I have the certainty that I can do it, right? That's the same kind of logic. Obviously, I mean, you're going to have to go through a lot more obstacles, but that same kind of logic in terms of any type of major goal that you want. Right. Start from point B. Follow the the steps that I planned out. Visualize as much as you can. Get the actual pictures as much as you can. Put them on your whiteboard if you have to, so you can look at them every day. And then just make it happen. Do or die, man. Right. Certainty and only death will stop you. And dude, you can't fail if you don't quit, man. You can't fail if you don't quit. That's the secret. That's the beautiful thing, dude. And I'm I'm starting to see like all these things come around in my business. It's like reality is so malleable. Like you. You probably don't even know how malleable reality is, dude, but when you just power through that mission, you're going to see it. And you just smile to yourself. You're like, I can't fail at this thing. Like, I, I just, you know, it's just keeping going and moving those obstacles out of the way. So I hope this message finds you well. Thank you for watching. As always, uh, check me out, revolutionarylifestyledesign.com, IG, SoundCloud, Facebook, all that stuff. I, I apologize for, for a bit of the shaky camera work, but, uh, you know, I appreciate you listening anyways. Let me know what you think in the comment section either on YouTube or on uh, the website directly. And much love to you. Wish you all the best in your personal development journey.